All right, grade 11's uh, it's physical science 20. This is percent error. We're going to do a couple questions, maybe one, maybe two. Uh, this is the worksheet I'm working off of, percent error worksheet. The alternate assignment's a bit shorter. So let's take a look at, uh, we took a look at number one, okay? Pretty straightforward. We're finding the percent error. I know it's a little tough to see right now. But number two is a bit of a different type of question because we're act asking for the actual mass. So if you look at the uh, equation here or how percent error is built, here's right here, percent error. Okay, so we're going to rewrite that. I'm just going to show you that over here. So percent error equals the uh, measured value minus the actual, uh, sorry, divided by the actual absolute value times 100. Okay. So for number two, what does it tell you? It tells you that the recorded mass on her balance was 34.3 grams. That's the measured value that we're given. Okay. Her teacher told her that was obviously there was obviously something wrong with the balance because it was giving her a reading which was 20% too high. So this is actually the percent error, this 20%. Okay, it's the percent error. It goes here. What was the actual mass of the object? We're looking for this value. Now it's in two different places in the equation, so it makes it just a little bit tougher, but not that bad. This is going to be x, okay? It's going to be the unknown x. Now the other thing is what do we do with the absolute value signs? So as you recall, absolute value signs initially like they get rid of the the sign whether it's positive or negative. But in this case, we do have to kind of we have to figure out if there would be a positive or negative part of this equation. So we're going to have to think a little bit critically about this. So the measurement, look at this, was too high. So what does that mean? That means that her measurement of 34.3 is going to be larger than this actual. So if you have a larger number minus a smaller number, you're going to end up with a positive result there. So I can now get rid of these absolute value signs, and I know that this is going to be positive. So it's just like you can eliminate them. Okay. Now, what does that do? Well, that helps us with this step. So I'm going to put 20 over here, and I know that it's going to be a positive 20. So this is going to be 34.3 minus x over x times 100. I'm going to write like that. Okay. So this is not the easiest type of uh, solving an equation, but we only have one unknown, so we can do it. We can totally do it, all right? I need to get the x's together somehow. And I saw one of you do this, and I, you can't do this. You can't say, oh, x and x, they're dividing out, they're gone. No, you can't do that because this is a subtraction here. It's not a multiplication. So we can't quite do that. But what we can do is we can multiply both sides by x. I can multiply this left side by x and this right side by x. And I'm going to go over here now. That'll give us 20x over here. This x is going to be now gone from this side of the equation. And I'm going to have 34.3 minus x times 100. Okay. Now I'm going to multiply this 100 through. I'm going to distribute that. So I've got 20x equals 3430 minus 100 x. Okay, so this is now algebra that you learned in grade 9 and 10. Um, you may be a little shaky on this, I'm not sure, but if we have like terms, we can add them or subtract them together, combine them into one. So I'm going to add 100 to both sides here, plus 100 to both sides. That's going to give me over here, I'll change colors, so 120x, these are gone now, equals Three, four, three, zero. Now I'm very, very close to having my answer. I divide both sides by 120. Sorry if that's a bit small. It's maybe tough for you to read the back there. I apologize. Um, but we're going to have now x equals what's three, four, three, zero divided by 120. Three, four, three, zero, divided by 120. 
So that looks like it's going to be in grams because the units were in grams. And that's, that's apparently what the actual value is. So 34.3 and 28.58 uh, as the original. So this is 20% higher than this number over here. So we could check that out real quick, right? We could check that out. We could go, I'm just going to move down here, 34.3 minus 28.58 divided by 28.58 times 100. So that should give us 20 if we're, if, if this is correct. So I'll check that on my calculator and then we can see. So 34.3 minus 28.58 divided by 28.58, okay, times 100. And that's 20.013. So it's going to be a it's going to be a little bit off to the hundredth, uh, you know, of a percent or whatever. So 20 percent. That's close enough. So we've rounded this. So 28.5833. If we kept all these decimals, we'd be exactly uh, 20. So there is your there is your answer. Okay. Questions? Yes.